In this session, we'll be talking about different types of lichen based upon morphology. So there are three different types of lichen. Those are based upon morphology. They are crustose, they are folios. Folios means leaf-like and fructicos. So we'll be discussing about these three lichens. Now, when you talk about crustose, they form crust-like structure. The definition says they are thin crust-like. They are present on the surface of trees, trunk, rock, rocks and soil. So they can be graphis, they can be rhizocarpon. So crustose, it's, it's forming the crust-like structure. When you talk about folios, it forms folios-like structure, means leaf-like structure. They are more complicated layer structure. They are in the form of broad, lobed and leaf-like, which are anchored by root-like things. Those are called rhizines. So what happens in lichen that the lichen will be having some root like structures those are called rhizines now remember this has also been asked the root like structures in lichen are called rhizines through which they will hold and they will get this leaf like structure which is called folios habit one important lichen which is folios is what you call palmelia now when you talk about the third lichen the fructicose lichen they are branched like bushes and they are attached with the help of this they will have a disc and through which you know they will be getting attached something like this one very important lichen which is fructicose is usnea usnea is also called old man's beard it grows on the trees like you have the disc here and from the disc the beard is coming so it grows like old what you call man's beard so it is also called old man's beard and the second lichen belonging to this particular lichen category it's what you call cladonia so there are three lichens based upon the morphology in next session, we'll be discussing about how reproduction takes place in lichen.